Under the Assemble tab in Solid, we're going to click on Assemble, and we see that we have Enable Contact Sets, and we have Enable All Contact. Before we get into this, I'm going to show you what it's like without either of these options turned on. What we're going to do is we're going to move this chain, and as you can see, uh, this is a roller chain with this link uh, fully grounded. So this link cannot move, but every other link can rotate about it. So I, what I could do is I could take the end of my link and just drag the whole thing through itself. Now this is not realistic. Uh, this could not ever happen uh, in the real world. And so to combat this, what we have is contact sets and all contact. So what happens if I enable all contact? I'm going to click on this, enable all contact. Now, as you can see in the browser, it says contact colon all. What that means is that I can drag this now and the parts cannot be within each other. So it disallows parts from uh, interfering with each other. And so that's going to be way more realistic for us. As you can see, it stopped here knowing that they would be um, within each other. And that's exactly what we want. Now, let's say we didn't want this. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to come to the browser and where it says contact all, I can, I can do no contact. And that's going to get rid of it in the browser. Now, if I move this within itself, you can see that it, it, it now can move within itself. That, that's not what we want. We don't want this to interfere with itself. So what I can do is I can come down to Assemble, and I'm going to do Enable Contact Sets instead of Enable All Contact. As you can see, we have a new tab in our browser that says Contact colon Sets. What we want to do is we want to right-click on this and select New Contact Set. Now we can select the components that we want to add to this contact set. You can select bodies as well, but we want to select components because our roller chain is made of components. The way to do that is we're going to select it from the browser right here. So I'm going to select this link, I'm going to select this link, and I'm also going to select this third link right here. We now have three selections, as you can see and I'm going to hit OK. So what you can do from here to view these is you can click on this arrow right where it says contact sets and you can see the contact set right there that's selected. Uh, that was one from before. So this is our contact set one. And what you can do from here is you can just test it out. So I'm going to move this chain and as you can see I can still move part of it within itself. So I can move the whole three links into the rest of them, but the three links that are part of the uh, contact set, they do not contact each other. See that? They actually touch, but they do not interfere with each other. So what we've done is we've effectively only created a contact set between three links. The, all the other links are not part of it. That's why I can take the chain and move it into itself. Like, as you can see, these ones, they're interfering with each other. So uh, those are the basics of contact sets. And um, like and subscribe for more free content on Fusion 360, 3D modeling, and engineering. And let me know in the comments if there's any video in the future that you want to see. Thank you.